это нога мамонта. Не очень большая, только среднего размера. In remote Siberia, melting Arctic permafrost is uncovering everything from mammoth bones to ancient vegetation that's been frozen inside it for millennia. It's a big problem. As this organic matter thaws, it's also decomposing and threatens to release vast amounts of greenhouse gases. Это именно то, что в этой мерзлоте огромное количество органического углерода. Вот эти вот корешки трав, вот они. Вот мамонты ели траву, вот и вот корень вот этой травы сохранился до наших дней. Nikita Zimov and his father have a plan, and it involves camels, horses and bison. They're trying to slow the thaw by engineering an ice age ecosystem. And a peer-reviewed scientific paper shows that their unconventional method could be an effective climate change mitigation strategy. This is one of the coldest places on Earth, Russia's Yakutia region, 80 miles south of Russia's Arctic coast. But scientist Sergei Zimov, Nikita's father, can no longer find any sign of permafrost. Global warming is permeating Siberia's soil, and temperatures are rising at more than three times the world average. Это одно из самых холодных мест на Земле, а мерзлоты нет. И так быстро метан в атмосфере, как сегодня, он не рос никогда. В последнее время самая высокая скорость роста концентрации метана. Scientists say that greenhouse gas emissions from its thaw could eventually match or even exceed the European Union's industrial emissions due to the sheer volume of decaying organic matter. It's estimated that permafrost in the Northern Hemisphere contains about 1.5 trillion tons of carbon, about twice as much as is currently in the atmosphere. Meanwhile, permafrost emissions, which are seen as naturally occurring, are not counted against government pledges aimed at curbing emissions or in the spotlight at UN climate talks. The Zimov's plan to slow the thaw focuses on one area of Yakutia. They're populating a nature reserve called the Pleistocene Park with large herbivores. The animals trample the snow, making it much more compact so the winter cold can get through to the ground rather than it acting as a thick insulating blanket. Zimov and his son Nikita began introducing animals here in 1996 and have so far relocated around 200 different species. The Zimov's surreal plan for geoengineering a cooler future has even extended to offering a home for mammoths. Other scientists hope to resurrect mammoths' extinction with genetic techniques in order to mimic the region's ecosystem during the last ice age that ended 11,700 years ago. A paper published in Nature's Scientific Reports in 2020, where both Zimovs were listed as authors, showed that the animals in Pleistocene Park had reduced the average snow depth by half. While more work is needed to determine if such unconventional methods might be an effective climate change mitigation strategy, the paper said the density of animals in Pleistocene Park should be feasible on a pan-Arctic scale. It also said global scale models suggest introducing big herbivores onto the tundra could stop 37% of Arctic permafrost from thawing. Единого решения по глобальному потеплению не существует. Мы здесь на севере, вот мы создаем экосистемы пазмичные, мы доказываем, что эти экосистемы помогут в борьбе. И это один из способов. И, безусловно, я надеюсь, что если нам удастся территории, огромную территорию в Арктике превратить в плодородные пазмичные с миллионами животных, Это и для климата, и для будущих поколений будет полезно. Но, конечно, одних наших усилий недостаточно.